Hello friends, welcome to another video of Zeta Axis and today we are going to see the conditions which are favorable for coral reef formation. So the first most important condition is temperature. The corals need temperature which are greater than 20 degrees Celsius. They like temperatures between 20 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius but they are more sensitive to cold waters. Therefore, they are not formed in the regions where there is cold water. So here we can see the circulation of air and ocean water in this video. The yellow color marks the region where there is warm ocean currents and the blue color marks the region where there is cold ocean currents. If we simplify it, we can see that on the eastern margin of continents, we see this warm ocean currents while on the western margin of continents, we see that there are these cold ocean water currents. Now we know that the corals, they do not survive in this cold water regions. Therefore, the corals are generally seen on the eastern margin of continents which we can see over here, over here in this region, even in here Africa. So we can see that they survive on the eastern side of continents. Some coastal regions exhibit the phenomena of upwelling where water from deeper parts of the ocean rises to the surface. Now this cold water which rises from the deeper parts to the surface, it will reduce the temperature on the surface water and hence it is not favorable for corals. So the regions of upwelling where the lower ocean waters are brought to the surface is not favorable for coral formations. Here we can see the five major upwelling regions over here, 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 in these regions. These are on the western coast of continents. So in these regions if we see there are no coral formations. So if you match both of these regions, we will see that there are no coral formations in these regions. You can go backward in the video and again compare and you will see that all those regions where they are upwelling, you will not find corals in those regions. So here is the summary of what we discussed that coral needs a temperature between 20 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius but it is more sensitive to lower temperatures. On the eastern margin of continents, we have warm ocean currents, therefore corals are found over here. While on the western margin of continents, we have cold ocean currents, therefore the corals are rarely found over here. Corals are not found in upwelling regions. So we have seen in the upwelling regions, water from deeper parts of the earth is coming to the surface. Now I wanted to clarify here that we are only talking about the tropical corals and not about the deep water corals which have been found recently. So we are not considering that for this study. Another important condition for formation of corals is that they grow in regions having shallow water that is less than 150 meter depth. In different books you will find different depths mentioned, in some books it would be 200 meter, in some books it would be 100 meters, but in general it is shallow water regions. Now there are a number of reasons for this. The first is it needs sunlight for photosynthesis by zooxanthellae. Then the temperature of water decreases with depth and we know that corals need temperature greater than 20 degrees Celsius. The third is that the concentration of calcium in ocean water decreases with increase in depth. And this leads to dissolving of calcium substrate of these corals. So we will see each of these regions in little detail. The first is that the corals require sunlight for photosynthesis. So we have seen that the corals have zooxanthellae in their tissues. And these zooxanthellae are basically algae which perform photosynthesis. And photosynthesis is not possible without the sunlight. Moreover, the corals food source comprises 90% of the food produced by the algae and only 10% of the food that is trapped by the tentacles. So the food produced by this zooxanthellae is 90%. So for the survival of our polyps or corals, it is important that the zooxanthellae, they perform photosynthesis. And the algae, that is the zooxanthellae, will, will need sunlight for photosynthesis. And we know that as we go deeper in the water, the sunlight amount will decrease. Here we can see that this is the surface of our ocean. So this is called photic region, where the sunlight is easily available. But after that, we have a photic region where there is no sunlight available. It is completely dark. So no photosynthesis is possible in this region. So if we see this photic and aphotic region with the seafloor, we can see that on the top portion, of, which is this portion, we have photic zone. Rest is a photic zone. 
So for the corals to survive, they have to be formed in this region where there is shallow water and enough sunlight is available for photosynthesis. So that is why when we see around the world, the coral reefs are formed along the islands or coastal regions. We can see all over here, the coral reefs are situated on the coastline because they grow only in shallow sea waters. Now the second reason was that the temperature continuously decreases. We know that as we will go deeper in the water, the temperature will start falling. And after certain depth, the temperature will become so low that the corals cannot survive. Therefore, we do not see corals in deeper waters, but only in shallow waters. A third reason was that with the increase in depth of the water, the calcium and carbonate concentration continuously decreases as we can see over here. So what happens if there is this coral reefs which are in the deeper parts of our ocean and there is decrease in the concentration of calcium and carbonate, then the corals which are in this region, they will dissolve because the calcium carbonate substrate will dissolve with a decrease in the concentration of calcium and carbonate. Therefore, we see corals only in shallow water, not in deeper waters. The third condition is that the corals need salt water. So corals are basically marine organisms which live in salty waters. And therefore, to maintain their salt water ratio, they require this salty water. And therefore, corals are not found in the regions where there is large amount of fresh water brought by rivers. Corals are not found on the eastern margin of India, mainly because there are large rivers like Godavari and Krishna, Kaveri, which bring a lot of fresh water in this region. The third important condition for coral formation is that the corals need salt water. The corals are adopted for marine life and they need salty water for maintaining the water to salt ratio in the body. Therefore, in the regions where there is large amount of fresh water, mainly brought by the rivers, the corals will not survive in that region and it is because of this. On the eastern margin of India where large number of rivers bring the fresh water to the Bay of Bengal, we do not see any corals over there. The corals are also harmed by very high salinity water. So remember they require a range but they favor salty water over fresh water. So here in this diagram we can see India and South America. On the eastern coast of our India, large number of rivers, they bring fresh water. And therefore we do not see any corals on the eastern margin of India, except for in Tamil Nadu. Similarly, in this South American continent, on the northern side, Amazon brings large amount of fresh water to the oceans. And therefore, there are no corals over here. And similarly, a large number of rivers, they combine and they form a delta over here. And that is why there is no coral in this region. Because large amount of fresh water is added to the ocean, reducing the salinity. The fourth important factor for coral formation is that they require clear water. Muddy waters block sunlight and we know that the corals perform photosynthesis via the zooxanthellae algae living within their tissues. So muddy waters, it will block the sunlight and therefore no food will be produced for the corals to survive. Corals are also not formed in the regions where there are a lot of sediments. So we know that the rivers, they carry a lot of sediments. And when they combine with the oceans or they merge in the oceans, they will deposit those sediments over there creating a lot of muddy waters. And this is also a reason that we do not see corals on the eastern margin of India because these large rivers, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri combined, they bring a lot of sediments in the region. The regions which have high coastal erosion by the waves, even in those regions, there is a lot of mud in the ocean water, thus blocking the sunlight. Therefore, even in those regions, we do not see a lot of coral formation. The fifth important condition for coral formation is that it likes flowing water current regions rather than stagnant water current regions. The reason is that the flowing water will bring a lot of nutrients dissolved in it, which is required for corals. Secondly, the flowing water also brings a lot of smaller organisms like phytoplankton, which are caught by these corals by their tentacles. So the flowing water provides more nutrients, more foods to the coral, and therefore they grow more in the direction of the flowing currents. So in this image, we can see a barrier reef and here we can see that there is oceans. So the barrier reef which is just as adjacent to the oceans, it has very consistent uniformity. 
The reason is that more nutrients is available over there and therefore they have a healthy growth. Well, if we see in the inner side, there are patches because the water is stagnant over here. It does not bring fresh nutrients as well as smaller organisms like phytoplanktons, which are required as food for the corals. The sixth important condition is also that the corals need to be submerged underwater. If the corals are exposed during low tides, then they will be harmed by the sunlight. And therefore, it is important that the corals, they remain submerged in water. So the regions where there is very high margin in the tides, their coral formation is generally not seen. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you have liked our video on what are the conditions favorable for coral formation. And if you have liked it, then do share with your friends and subscribe to our channel. If you like what we are doing, then you can support us by using the UPI ID. Again, thanks for watching the video.